Welcome back to Box Office Maniacs, and this is the Kill Screen. I am here up in my game room to bring you this newest review for the Kill Screen, and that is this here. This is the Pac Man light to go into my game room. So, my wife actually got this here for me to put into the game room. So, about six years ago, I actually bought the Ghost light from Pac Man that I guess would go with this, but now they're selling sort of like a flat ghost that I guess is supposed to go with this. This is more of the three-dimensional Pac-Man that goes with a flat ghost, which I don't really understand because I do have a three-dimensional ghost. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to show you this. I'm going to do an unboxing for this, and then I'm actually going to show you the ghost I got as well that I think goes with this because it's three-dimensional, it's not flat. So let's get to this. Here is an unboxing for the Pac-Man light that I got off ThinkGeek, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Here we go. Here is my 3D Pac-Man light that's going to be for my game room. And I thought I'd show the box off a little bit. Not that there's a whole lot to it, but um, yeah, this is what he's going to look like when he comes out of the box. <laughs> On the side is a very simple Pac-Man. I do like the fact that they have the eye in there. They could have just had the Pac-Man, but it's kind of a cool uh, drawing. And that's pretty much uh, that all there is to the box. So, <laughs> not a whole lot else to it, and that's about it. And on top, it's upside down. It says Pac-Man light with sound. All right, so let's get this thing open. Wow, he's very big. <laughs> uh, didn't expect it to be quite this size, but yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's really, really a great size Pac-Man. It's probably the biggest, whoop, there he goes. It's probably the biggest thing of Pac-Man that I've, that I own besides the cabinet itself. So as in detail here, obviously there is not a whole lot because it's just Pac-Man, but his eyes are indented into the plastic and he does have a very large black mouth that sort of looks like Cookie Monster. <laughs> and obviously there's nothing on the back of him because he's just yellow, big yellow ball. Bottom, however, does have some rubber stands and so he doesn't uh, have to move or fall over too easily which you see that I just did touch him and he did fall over, so be careful on that. But for the most part, I mean, he is awkward shaped, so if you did hit him, you know, he's gonna roll away. <laughs> just like that. So try, try not to do that. All right, so let's take a look at the plug that came with Pac-Man. It's just a two-prong plug, simple enough. It's not really too huge to put into your surge protector. The cord looks like it's pretty long. It's not a bad uh, cord, you can um, stretch them out. And like I said in the beginning of this review, I really want to show off the ghost I have as well. So before I plug him in and turn him on and everything, I want to show the ghost off. So let's take a look at the ghost. So here is the ghost, and it really does look like a ghost because it's hard to see because it's all uh, white with a white background. But like I was saying too, that they do have these flat ghosts that look just like they do in the video game. But I thought this was cool. I thought this was a pretty awesome uh, three-dimensional ghost that they had out. And this thing, like I said, is probably about five or six years old. And this guy has fallen off the shelf. We've run into him. He's actually broken. The bottom of it's been broken off. I had to glue it back together. So he does have some nicks on him and, and everything else. But he keeps on ticking, just like a real ghost from Pac-Man. Now this guy came with this, and this is pretty cool. He turns a whole lot of different colors, so he can be any ghost from Pac-Man or even ghosts that don't exist in the Pac-Man world. And what's awesome about this, it does say Pac-Man on the top here. And so yeah, and you can have it flash, you can have it strobe, you can have it fade, you can have it smooth, you can have him solid colors, you can choose whatever color you want from him. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off and I'll show you all the stuff that this ghost can do. So for the longest time, basically what we used the ghost for was a nightlight for the bedroom because, you know, we could either have it on red or we could change the color. So if we wanted it to fade, we could have it, you know, basically do anything. So this was our nightlight for a long time, but now it's actually in the game room. So this is the solid color, obviously, of red. We can turn him and green, and he's very bright too. I mean, it's as bright as it looks on the camera. And here he's blue, so, you know, the Pac-Man can eat him now. And then there's different shades of blue. This is purple. And this sort of lighter purple. And that's a, like a pink. And here's another shade of blue. 
lighter, sort of lighter green color, even a lighter green color. And this is the orange. I guess this would be more like a yellow, and a lighter yellow, and a lighter yellow. <laughs> so it looks almost that looks almost like it's green. And like I said, what you can do with this guy, this is the flash effect where he's just basically turning every color. And now we have the strobe, obviously. And here is the slowed fade. Two different colors. And this one here is smooth. It's more of a faster, smoother transition into colors. All right, so there it is. There is the actual ghost that we have. And like I said, I think this actually goes better with the three-dimensional Pac-Man. Even though I do like the flat ghost, and I may pick that up sooner or later, but this is really cool. And I don't even know if they sell this anymore. They probably do, but um, not 100% sure. One thing I should have pointed out with the ghost is he did not have any rubber bottoms to him either. He just had a smooth bottom. If he actually did have a bottom made out of um, rubber, he may not have fallen off the shelf 45 times. So just wanted to point that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug Pac-Man in here in a minute. Now this is the remote that came with Pac-Man. As you can see, it's not quite as complicated as this one. <laughs> but it looks like it has an on button. I'm assuming that's the volume or the turning the sound on and off light button. Not sure what that is and not sure what this is. So we're gonna find out what all these buttons do here. Oh, you can see me. Um, so all the lights are turned off, and let's go ahead and hit the on button here so we can see how bright Pac-Man is and uh, what he does. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> right off the bat, he starts making noise. Let's turn him off. I'm, I'm curious to see if he has other noises or if that's the only one. <laughs> he does have different noises. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a classic Pac-Man theme. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Just got an extra man. There's a lot of sounds. I'm really impressed here. It's really pretty cool. There you go. Alright, so now start repeat, so Let's check one more time here. There you go, he, he just died. That's a new one. <laughs> Alright, so I think I've went through all the sounds. Alright, so what the buttons do, um, basically if you don't want him to make noise when he comes off and on, that's what the second button does, you click it. He just turns off without making the noise, and you turn it on without him making noise. And the other one, he will make noise when he comes on. So I guess if you're home sleeping, and if you're using this for a nightlight, and you don't want to wake up the other person, I guess you don't want, you know, to come on and wake the other person up. And these two here, the dimming and the brightness, and the bottom one is just the random sounds. That you, can, that you can do. So if you're curious what these two look like together, this is it. I mean, they're Pac-Man's a little bit bigger, I think, than the Ghost, but you know, I think they're about the right size. So if you're a Pac-Man fan, this is awesome. This is so cool. It may not change as many colors as the Ghost, but Pac-Man really don't change colors, so <laughs> there's no reason for him to be turning blue and, and green and pink and purple and flashing on and off and everything. He's Pac-Man, he's, he's yellow, so that's that's Pac-Man. If you wanted to use him as a nightlight, that's awesome because he can dim, or if you have a game room and want to stick him in that, that's also really cool. So overall, I love it. I think it's great, and as a Pac-Man collector, I think this is a must-have. I'm just moving the ghost over there for now. But if you look at it straight on like this, you know, it looks just like Pac-Man, that's really cool. And if you turn it sideways, that's a really good image of him too. Or you could turn him all the way sideways like this, and you can still see the eyes a little bit, but um, it's, I mean, that's the classic 
Pac-Man pose, you know, right there. Overall, I love this. I think it's awesome. It's gonna look great in my game room. And I don't know, I might actually use it for a nightlight. I don't know if I will or not because it's too cool to probably have in the bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, overall, awesome. I, I don't know where you can buy these besides ThinkGeek. I don't know if that's the only store that sells them. Um, but I would highly recommend this. I think it's really good. And the thing with these, they're super light. They're like, they weigh nothing. There's really nothing inside this but a bulb, I guess. So both this and the Ghost really, literally just weigh nothing. All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Kill Screen. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button because this year is going to be a big year for the Kill Screen. I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff about video games and my game room still and updates and all that fun stuff. So if you're into all that, please become one of our maniacs and subscribe because we are also on here doing movie reviews and we're constantly giving away digital codes for films, for DVDs, and all that too, also. So thank you for watching again. I love all the maniacs out there and all you maniac gamers out there. Game on!